Welcome back. And in the news, it says that fear groups residents as, quote, Mieti Ala plate number surfaces in Lagos. Lagos residents have called for a tighter security after a motorcycle with the plate number Mieti Ala was spotted on the street. The Okada was seen at Ojo Alaba International Market Road on Tuesday at about 3.26 p.m. Mieti Ala Castle Breeders Association of Nigeria, sometimes called MACBAN, is a loose partisan advocacy group centered on promoting the welfare of Fulani pastoralists in Nigeria established in 1970. The main function of the association is to foster the welfare of Fulani headsmen and develop and development of cattle breeding. An eyewitness who saw the number plate said during rush the bike stopped. Then the two men emerged from nowhere, one with military uniform and the other with a helmet and mounted the bike. The bike man whisked the way towards Alaba main market and turned at Alaba Rago Junction before moving onwards Ojo Garage. Residents found the new discovery unsafe and told themselves to be security conscious, calling on the police and army to be at alert too. In recent months, there has been several accusations of the prominent Nigerians who believe that Mieti Allah is responsible for all the harm committed by Fulani herdsmen. People believe that those AK-47 rifles Fulani herdsmen carry were given to them by Mieti Allah. Some residents wondered why Mieti Allah would issue a plate number when it is the job of the federal state and federal and state government wow um do you really think it's a cause of concern because it's just a plate number or it's like maybe it's a sign that you know they are in lagos and they're able to retaliate and obviously you know we can't really ignore and undermine any little signs so it is good that you know people noticed it because it can be no one really spends their time looking at plate numbers except we're in traffic but let's see what the top comment is the third somebody says nigerians will get f- voting president Buhari as president of the federal republic of nigeria he runs an irresponsible administration and the worst government that has ever happened to nigeria his government is full of corruption tribalism and nepotism every nigerian are regretting walloping in poverty and also languishing in hunger at the end of the day you have to say that you know after the first four years it didn't really make sense for anyone who was thinking logically to still vote him again in power but at the end of the day the truth is that the government is corrupt and they they rig the elections as well they also bribe a lot of people you'd think that you know the educated ones they say in the south would go and vote but they do not vote and again in the northern part of nigeria there's a lot of people who are in abject poverty where just bribing them with five thousand naira and a bag of rice they've gotten the vote and obviously rigging and you know changing the numbers the numbers are getting warped that's how they, was a- they were able to get into power the second time another person says it was that ipop camouflage to tarnish the image of innocent people Somebody now replies to this comment and says, waiting concern IPOB for this story. Another person says, you are suffering IPOB phobia. Another person replies to this comment and says, shut up your mouth, is your heart. And this person literally goes and curses this person ego. And somebody says, so where are those area boys and all the agueros? See what to do here. Again, you can't, <laughs> you can't get hooligans to go in a tr- um in the street and fight someone like fight a you know a, an organization like Mieti Allah they they have equipment or you know hooligans which is the admirals can do is basically talk and do fist fighting but they have weapons so it's like you can't really compare their capabilities of fighting and that person says um Matekun in Lagos be ready and other states in the entire southwest southeast and south south Somebody says, as they come, so they would vanish. And two people replied. And the first person says, amen, and it came to pass. Somebody says, Lagos, handle that one million boys across the entire city. Would crush them like they can't believe. Somebody also says, all of you guys that voted for APC and Flunny, I hope you are eating what you have been cooking. Such is life. And that person says, Buhari with low life mentality. No sense. But then he's at the top stealing money and you know getting money for his own family and generation so you know he's in a much better position even though it can't be with integrity but it is what it is somebody says very soon they will soon very soon they will issue national id card and driver's license what a country somebody says nigeria is a former country why not arrest him true i mean again how 
with no normally the plate number if you take a picture and you send it to the police it should have all your information and it should be able to trace you but then it's me at all i don't think you can trace that that has that doesn't really give any vital information to who the person was if they've taken pictures of the person that was on the bike and the plate number then that, that, that might have been helpful somebody says Odudua Republic must break away from Nigeria. Forget about Amotekon. Somebody says the untouchables. Ours is to talk and speak grammar that will make English people of England open their dictionary. The Yorubas own the media without making good use of it, except noisy arguments, fake news, tribal sentiments, and display of cantankerousness. Wow. <laughs> Somebody says federal government will never indict the real terrorists. They will rather chase shadows and harm nigeria the more good luck nigeria somebody says nothing nigeria is nothing but a failed state do you guys believe that um so what do you guys believe um of this what is your opinion on this do you really think it's a cause for concern just the plate number and do you think that the person should have also taken a picture of the two people on the bike and so it would help with tracing these people and where they come from Put what you think in the comment section below and do not forget to like and subscribe.